Hey everyone, it's Excellent Dude again with another Excel how-to video. In this video, we're going to use Excel to have some fun. We'll be using Excel functions to create a random number generator for the Powerball lottery. Of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that the odds of winning the Powerball are approximately 1 in 292 million, and in no way I guarantee you'll win. The basic game is that there are two machines. The first machine has 69 white balls in it that are numbered 1 to 69. The second machine has 26 red balls, the power balls, and they're numbered from 1 to 26. For each draw, five white balls will be drawn and one red ball. If the lucky player picks the right combination of six numbers, they win the grand prize jackpot. So let's have some fun with Excel. I've set up some placeholders for the five numbers plus the Powerball number at the top of this worksheet. First, I'll create a column with numbers from 1 to 69. I'll start by entering 1, 2, and 3, and then highlighting them, and then dragging until I reach 69. Next, I'll create random numbers that associate with each of the potential drawn numbers. For this, I'll use the equals rand, opening bracket, and then close bracket, and I'll press enter. This will generate a random number between 0 and 1 with 6 decimal places. This will make the odds of a duplicate quite low. I will highlight the first and then double click on the autocomplete handle to generate random numbers for the rest of the draw numbers. So now we have 69 random numbers, one for each of the draw numbers. As I go through this tutorial, you'll notice that the random numbers will sometimes change as I add more formulas throughout the worksheet. This is because whenever I click enter, the random numbers will be redrawn. I'm going to highlight the range and name it Draw List. Naming the range will make things easier for us a little later on. Now I'm going to use the large function to find the highest valued random number. The syntax is equals large opening bracket and then I'll highlight the range of random numbers, followed by a comma. Then I'll enter 1 because this will be the highest valued random number. I will repeat this process four more times so that I have five numbers selected in total, the same as the number of numbers drawn in the Powerball lottery. The only change to the formula is that for each subsequent row, I'll change the large formula to increase the number after the range to 2, 3, 4, and 5. So now we have a list of the top 5 random numbers drawn. Now all we have to do is find the corresponding drawn number from 1 to 69 that these random numbers are associated with. To do this, we'll use the VLOOKUP function. We'll begin with ball 1. I'll start with equals VLOOKUP opening bracket and then I'll pick the first number pulled by the large function. In this case it's in cell D10. Next I'll add a comma and then type draw list. This was the name we gave to the range. This makes things easier than highlighting or entering the range manually. I'll add another comma and type the number 2 because we want the second column from the left. This would be the draw number. One more comma and then we'll enter false because we want the exact match to the value in D10. Add a closing bracket and click enter. We'll repeat the process for each ball. The only change I'll make to the formula is the first value. For ball 2, it will be D11. For ball 3, it will be D12. For ball 4, it will be D13. And finally for ball 5, it will be D14. If you want to redraw the numbers, you can use the F9 button. Finally, the Powerball. Since the Powerball can be the same as the previous five numbers drawn, we'll do something a little easier. We'll use the equals rand between opening bracket one for the lowest number of the range followed by a comma 
and 26 for the highest number in the range. Add the closing bracket and click Enter. We've now created a Powerball random number generator. We can use F9 to generate as many random drawings as we'd like. So again, with a disclaimer, I'm not guaranteeing you'll win. It's a fun way to learn some neat Excel functions. However, if you do win the Powerball using this or something else, don't forget to think about your buddy, the excellent dude. Anyhow, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you find my videos informative, please give this video a thumbs up. If you like learning about Excel, please consider subscribing and clicking the notification icon to be notified when I release new videos. Or if you'd like to learn a topic that I haven't covered yet, please leave your suggestions in the comments section below. Thanks again and have an excellent day.